Good morning and a heartfelt welcome this morning to the online church, our Friday morning meeting. That's half past five, live here on Facebook. And this morning we want to welcome you, myself, Stanley, that will be speaking Afri English, and my wife, that will be speaking Afrikaans, and she's Karen. Goeiemorgen allemaal, baie welkom hier by die Anlein Kerk. Hier op vrijdag ochend, half zes, loof die jere. Is dit nie wonderlik, dat ons volgend ons oog is kon oopmaak, en wanneer jy jou oog so oopmaak, dan is ons so opgewonde om die jere te dien. En ons loof die jere weer vir die geleentheid volgend, ons het uitgesien na die geleentheid, om weer so'n bykie by mekaar te kan kom, om die woord weer so lekker met mekaar te kan deel, en um, so lekker saam te kan keier, so wees volgend deel, geniet het, en um, wees ook meer levend op die comments, en deel het asjeblief op jou status en op jou timeline, loof die jere. Yes, good morning. As you are tuning in, please do share the message there to your timeline, this broadcast. Um, it's always a privilege for us to minister the, wo the Word of God and to be in your company. It's always a privilege for us that you can listen to the message, the Word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we really want to encourage you this morning to share the message. Share it there to your timeline. Um, also, do share it there in your Facebook status. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. It's an amazing way of spreading the gospel there as well. A lot of people, you, you can't believe how many people came across this ministry because of the fact that you shared it there to your WhatsApp status. Amen. And also here to your uh, timeline on Facebook. Whether you are live this morning or afterwards, doesn't matter. Please do share the message so that the whole world can receive the gospel oh. of our Lord Jesus Christ. Those that are unsaved, that they can come across this broadcast and maybe there will be something that the Lord can use to work in hearts so that they can become born again. Children of God, sometimes they, 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 have, they need answers. They, oh, there is uh, a lot of times it's like riddles in our lives. It's something that binds us. And most of the times we as children of God is because of some ignorance in our life. And uh, maybe this, min uh, this morning, this ministry can also help a fellow brother and sister wow, just man. to become loose of the bonds of Love ignorance. Because sometimes that ignorance can bind us as well and make our path a little bit difficult. And the Lord Jesus Christ came and he said he wants to take away, he wants to release us oh, from man. these burdens, from the shackles of this world and ignorance things that we grew up in and and the lord wants to change that in our hearts so that we can live in spiritual freedom because his yoke is easy and his burden is light sometimes we have this heavy burden on us because of ignorance in our life and when we can hear the truth of the gospel of the word of god and see it in the correct perspective and then obviously what can happen we can become free indeed. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Isn't that an amazing Praise thought to think of? It. Jesus Christ says He came to set us free, to release us from a lot of burdens, the burdens of sin, the burdens of iniquity, the burdens of bad habits, of oh, characters. Yeah. There's a lot of burdens in our lives. Hallelujah. And the Lord just wants to set us free this Praise morning. Him. Hallelujah. Not just this morning, but the word of God encourages us and says His mercy is great. is new every morning. Hallelujah. Not that it can become old, but it's for us an encouragement because our day ends when we sleep. And when we wake up again, our day starts again. And the Lord says, when you wake up, His mercy, His grace, His forbearance this morning is new in your life. Hallelujah. Isn't that a wonderful and exciting thought this morning? Praise the name of the Lord. So as we are tuning in, we're just giving time for everybody to tune in. We do share the message there to our Facebook. There's a lot of groups that do that we do share to as well. If you've got a group that you belong to somewhere on Facebook or wherever, and you can share this message to that to that group, the link, please do so. We want to encourage you this morning. Praise the Thanks, name yeah. of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I just want to tell you, we had a blessed two weeks. Uh, it's almost two weeks now with the young people here with us in Langerbans yeah. and Hopefield. 
And we were so encouraged, encouraged with their testimony Amen. and their presence and what they said. And uh, it is just amazing. When we, when we get together as children of God, you, then you can actually understand what the Bible says. We are a body. We are members. And we are there for each other to encourage each other and to remind us of the word of God. Hallelujah. Show my mind. Was it a gesien de twee weke wat yes. verby is, so, dit raak al jou nader aan die einde van yes. die kindersgesel huis toe, en elke keer as iemand moet gaan, is het vir ons een groot skering, <laughs> so <laughs> ons het al so deel geraak van mekaar sy leven, dit is omtrent amazing, en um, dit is wat my man sê, so in die lichaam van Christus, even met die jong mense wat die Heere dien, Ach, mens besef, hulle is nog jong en daar is nog baie dinge wat moet verander en uitsorteer en geskaaf en geskeer word en al die type van dinge, maar hy oprechte harte, Yo. wat die Heere wil dien, wat nie skaam is nie, dit was yes, my so mooi my man. Yes, I mean, not shy of the gospel. No. Nee, oor as waar ons kom en um, waar hulle is en so aan, sing hulle hier uit volle bors en dis hulle in die bakkie rui en allemaal hoor hulle die hele lange baan weet al van hierdie um, klompie jong mense wat hier is, wat die Heere dien en oor as waar ons is en ons bedien die woord so aan mekaar en mense sit om ons en hulle luister en raak die jong mense so opgewonde en sê het jy gesien hoe hy net geluister, het jy gesien hoe hy net geluister sê dit was so opgewonde die hele tyd, want niemand is kaam vir die evangelie nie en dit is my so mooi, toe ek te denk hoe ek as jong mens was Mens was my baie skam en yeah, skie en teruggetrokke en so, en as iemand yeah. praat oor die Heer, en dan denk jy, oe, jy, jy kan dit nou nie hier doen nie, en so, en maar ek kan net sien in hierdie no. jong mens in sy leven, is daar so op rechtheid, en allemaal is so opgewonde om die Heer te dien, en ons bid vir hulle, bid saam met ons yes. vir hierdie jong mense, dat hulle ook die pad voluit sal stap, en eentheid sal stap, en ek besef weer eens, dat dit is een nieuwe generatie, wat die Heere yes, gered het, amen, en verloos het, yes. ons het gedink, dit is onmoendlik, dat kinders tot wedergeboorte kan kom, in hierdie tyd waar ons lewe, jy kan sel met ons stem, met al die technologiese dinge, en al die dinge, yes. is dit asof die kinders glad nie meer, eers een bewussein van die Heere het nie, yes. en toch is die Heere siele red, jo, ja, dan is dit net amazing, dan weet hy kan precies wat aan gaan in die evangelie. So ja, ons is volgend opgewonde en um, bid vir ons jong mense en bid vir ons ook vir weisheid en inzicht, ook vir die laaste tykje wat ons al so saam is, jo, um, Lezerai en, en Bernardus en Havani gaan sondag terugvlieg, die ander is al huis toe en wow, wat a geseende tyd loof die jyre. Ja, yeah, it's amazing when uh, uh, at least if we are not shy for the gospel. Ja. Yeah. And this is what the Lord says, if you're not shy for me, I won't be shy for you. Amen. So even with that, it doesn't, it didn't matter where we were the last two weeks. Whether we, uh, one day we went to Sunny Park in super tubes and uh, swimming baths, etc., swimming pools. And we sang there and the young people sat there and they sang with us. They weren't shy. They didn't draw back. I thought, no, we can't sing here. They sang, uh, they sang and with their us, hearts. yeah, from their <laughs> hearts. And yeah. the other night as well, we had a privilege and we went to a restaurant and somebody asked a question there and we talked about this and it became so loud that uh, the tables around us start listening to our conversation. Yes. And the, the young people were so, so, so excited. Wow, did you see that one was listening? That yes. one was listening. And, <laughs> and everybody was just exciting, excited to, 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 to and they actually want to encourage us to yeah. even talk more and minister more. Yes, they weren't shy, yeah. they didn't shy away. And that is, that, that, if you are at that point and you're not shy of the gospel, then God can do something in your life as well. So, yeah, praise the name of the My Lord. My man, dan, dan raak die evangelie deel van die mense yes, lewe. Yes, yes. Um, dit is wat jy ook baie keer sê, dat baie keer is het as een mense geestelike lewe, in jou dagelijkse leven geskui yes, is. Yes. Dis asof jy bid by die huis en jy lees die woord, maar as jy nou uitgaan, dan los jy dit daar en jy gaan aan met jou dagelijkse leven. En wat in die mens nie skaam is vir die evangelie, waarever jy is nie, dan raak dit deel van jou leven, dit yes, raak deel amen. van jou bestaan. Dan hoef jy nie meer te redeneer, wanneer moet ek nou die evangelie bedien en aan wie en hoe en wat moet ek nou uitleef en waar moet ek liefde gee nie en so, en dan raak dit so deel van jou leven yes, en so vervul. Amen. En ek denk, dit is wat ons allemaal die laatste tyd so lekker by mekaar geleer het, is om dit deel van die mense dagelikse leven. Of jy nou by een fanpark is, 
nog jij nou bij een restaurant is, en of jij nou bij die huis is, en of jij nou in die kerk is, maak jy saak nie, yes. jy moet die Heere dien. Yes, en I dit mean. uitstraal, en dit leef, en dit behou. Jy kan nie terwijl jy by plekke is, terugval in sonde nie. En yes. dit, is, dit is wat ek besef wat so mooi is, dat die besef is daar, Heere, ek is by een plek, om yes. die naam uit te draag. Yes. Al is dit een oomlik van, <coughs> dat ons die kinders so'n bykie kans gee om net hulle self so'n bykie te geniet. Bly dit een saak van, ons is hier om die Heere te dien. Ja, so, is cool. wat, wat is quite exciting when, when you are at a place um, and you're not shy for the gospel and you just live out your Christian life. It is as if you are enjoying yourself, but it's not an outward enjoyment. Yeah. It's an inward enjoy, enjoy, enjoyment. It flows from the heart, oh. the joy that's actually in your heart. Because the outward things can can uh, make you happy and uh, and for for uh, and you can enjoy it for a while. But after a little while, you feel down. You feel even last night when we when after we had our dinner and so on. Uh, we said, let's go and pray. And the young people, yes, please, we need that. We need to pray. Yes. And you can go through a day, but inside you realize there's something missing. Yes, right. That yeah. real peace. Because the world yes, can right. give you only peace for a moment. It can yeah. only give you joy for a moment. But it's not inward peace. It's outward pleasures. <laughs> yeah, the day is my mind. is full of down and out. As you're so busy yes. in the world, you feel so leeg. Yes. Jy voel, daar is nou iets dringend um, nodig in my leven. En ek besef dat die geest van die Heere roep uit die in jou siel om gemeenskap met die Vader te hee. En dit is wat mys die heel tyd ervaar, dat die mens die hele tyd um, wil vol raak van die geest van die Heere, van die liefde van die Heere, van die gemeenskap met die Heere. En dit is wat ons harte uitroep na. En as jy gehoor gee, en jy gaan bid, en jy lees die woord, en jy probeer nie iets anders doen om die saak doen, dood te druk nie, dan raak jy weer vervuld en vol yes, lewe en amen. opgewonde. Mens, die, die eerste ouwe sit so in die kring en dan, sê staan nie, hier begin ons nou bid en so aan, en as die eerste een gebid het, mm. dan voel jy weer die lewe en blijdskap yes, en heerlijkheid amen. deurbreek, en soos wat elke een bid, kan jy sommer weer hoor, joch, die laste val af, en as ons klaar gebid, dan sê ons allemaal, sê allemaal, joch, die last van die dag, dag is af. Yes. En dit is wat ons as kinders van die heren so lekker moet verstaan in die evangelie. Dit is waar jou lewe lê, dis yeah. waar jou versterking lê, in die Heere, en baie keer voel die mens, jy het nie tyd vir dit nie. Yes. Stel eerder iets anders af, yes. en gaan soek die Heere vir die tyd, al is dit een paar minuut, al is dit een yes. half uur, al is dit een uur, gaan soek die Heere, om jou weer vol te maak, en dat jy weer die lewe, en inzicht by hom kan kry. Yeah, of course, we must remember, God create your soul, and your soul is spiritual in nature, and God is spirit, and that is why the, the word of God that Jesus Christ taught us, God is spirit, and in, in any one's worshippers that worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. So only God can satisfy and fill up and uh, um, uh, can <laughs> make your soul full and yeah. uh, full of peace and full of love and full yeah. of meekness. Only God can do that because he is spiritual. He made you. Amen. This world only drains your soul, but and and and, and the, the things of the world are the lust of the world, and that can only drain your soul. That drains your inner man, but only God, through the Lord Jesus Christ, can uplift and encourage your soul once again, and that life of God can just break through, and then you feel it, you experience it Amen. in this world and in this body as well. Dit is heel mooi, ek sê sê, ons hart wees op ons gezicht. <laughs> en dit is baie keer so, baie keer as jy so innerlik gedaan is, en jy het nie gemeenskap met die vader nie, dan bewys dat jy gedaan lang na jou gezicht is om so. En dit is baie keer, hy blijdskap breek, soms die dier, en dan lyk hier die lichaampie ook, soos jou siel, <laughs> soos jou innerlijke loof die dier. Ja, yeah, and it's quite amazing, this morning my wife read the scripture, and let, let us just read here, in 1 John 1. He says, 1 John 1 verses 1, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled, concerning the word of life. The life was manifested, and we have seen and bear witness and declared to you 
that eternal life which was with the wow. Father and was manifested to us, that which we have seen sure. and heard, we declare to you that you also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. So, and then he says in verse 7, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, wow. his Son, cleanses us from all sin. And it's quite amazing. Um, uh, here John wrote, uh, and he was one of the disciples. So they actually saw Jesus Christ in the flesh. They touched him. They handled him. That is not the word wow. of God. Says they, handled him. they were there in his uh, presence. And they witnessed and they wrote and they uh, uh, ministered those things that they received from Jesus Christ. And it was written down to uh, for us as well. Wow. But now we can say, but we have never met Jesus Christ in the, f in the flesh. But this is where the encouragement comes from. Although they knew Jesus Christ in the flesh, the word of God says, so we don't know him anymore. We can only learn from his teachings. Wow. But when you are born again, this is, what, this is what Jesus Christ says to Nicodemus. When you are born again, you will see the kingdom of God. Sure. You will understand what the wow. kingdom of God is about. And then spiritually, you also saw, you also handled, you also touched by the Holy Spirit wow. that was poured out in your heart. Hallelujah. And this is the encouragement this morning. The day when you became born again, when you experienced that new life. You were in that direct presence and you can stay in that presence of God wow. because of his spirit that is within you. Even if you sin as a child of God, this, uh, God doesn't forsake you and uh, Reject you. rejects you and withdraws his spirit. We only causes a divide. But then further on, it encourages us in verse 9. If there is that sin divide, we can just confess it. That divide gets removed, and then once again we are enlightened, and we we experience that new life once again. Wow, kom ons lees hier in 1 Johannes 1. Hy sê, wat van die begin af was, wat ons gehoor het, wat ons met ons oor gesien het, wat ons aanskou het, en ons hande getas het, aangaande die woord van die lewe. So hier skryf Johannes, en hy sê, hulle het vir Jesus gesien, hulle was by hom in sy teenwoordigheid, hulle het hom aangeraak, en al die dinge. So hulle het, hulle het besef, hy was op jou yes, op aarde, yes. hy was die deel van hulle, saam met hulle, en hulle getuig, van hier die woord van lewe. Yeah. Wow, is dit nie cool nie, dit is so awesome. Hy sê, en die lewe is geopenbaar, en ons het dit gesien, en ons getuig en verkondig aan jylle die eeuwige lewe, wat by die vader was, ja, sure. en aan ons geopenbaar wow. is. So dit is so mooi om te denk, dat Jesus Christus het gekom, aarde toe, so dat hy kon sterf en opstaan, so dat, ons die eeuwige lewe wow. kon deelachtig Amen. raak, loof die Heere. So hy het gekom, dat ons die eeuwige lewe kan hee. So hy gee vir ons die eeuwige lewe, en dit is my so mooi. Hy sê, wat ons ge gesien en gehoor het, verkondig ons aan jylle, so dat jylle ook gemeenskap met ons kan hee, en ons gemeenskap is met die Vader, en met sy Seen, mm. Jesus Christus. So hulle prediking maak, dat ons gemeenskap ook met die Vader, en Jesus Christus kan hee, soos met hulle, en wanneer ons in die broederskap, gemeenskap met die Vader en met mm. Jesus het, het ons gemeenskap met mekaar, oh, loof yes. die Heere. Hy sê, en ons skryf hier die dinge aan jylle, so dat jylle blijdskap volkome kan wees, en dit is yes. wat ons nou gesê het, as hy mens die woord so lekker lees en jy bid en jy soek die aangezicht van die Heere, dan breek die blijdskap en lewe, so dier die mens, want mens kry nie die lewe in die wereld nie. En dit is die verkondiging wat ons van hom gehoor het, en aan jylle verkondig het, God is licht en geen duisternis is in hom nie. Dit het my nogal getref Yo, volgend. Yo, it's amazing, eh? En dit is so mooi wat hy sê, as jy um, een vriend van die wereld is, as jy een vijand van God, dan is jy nie in die licht nie, want God het nie duisternis by hom nie. Hy het nie sonde nie, hy het nie ongerechtigheid nie, hy kan ook nie gemeenskap met dit he nie. En dit is ook hoe hy so mooi sê, dat wanneer ons um, sondag, ons kan nie sê ons sondag nie, want dan lig ons, <laughs> dat is yes, ons leenaars, yes. maar wanneer ons sondag, 
het ons een voorspraak by die vader, en dan kan ons ons zonde gaan belei, en uitsorteer, so dat ons uit die duisternis kan uitkom, en die licht in, so dat ons gemeenskap met die vader kan he in die licht. <laughs> Loof right. die Heere, en Jesus Christus was die licht, hy sê, hy was die licht, wat aarde yes, toegekom het, amen. en tussen ons kom wandel het, yes. en die licht het gekom, so dat daar redding vir ons kan wees, vir ons siel, vir ons innerlijke. Loof die That's Heere. amazing what they had that, uh, Jesus Christ is the word of life. He oh, even man. said when you were on earth, my words are spirit and life. Sure. So when we, uh, when we have fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ and the Father, because he says our fellowship is with the Father and with Jesus Christ. So oh. if we worship the Father through Jesus, we accept Jesus as the Son of God, we confess, etc., and follow the commandments that God the Father gave him, we have fellowship with Jesus because he wow. gave that command through him. And we have fellowship with the Father because it's the commandments of the Father. And when we walk in that light, sure. then only we can have fellowship with one another. Because when we read in um, 1 John 2 verse 15, 1 John 2 verse 15, he says, Do not love the world or the things in the world. Yeah. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, everything that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, yeah, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away in the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Now, when we have an... When we have, uh, when we attach ourselves to the mm. things of the world, what happens at that moment? Because God is not a lover of every of anything in this world. The world creates its uh, himself, its own sin, its own pride, its own lust. Yeah. And when we attach ourselves to the things of this world. He says the love of God is not in this. Even in, in James 4, it, it, it even writes there, if we uh, become a friend of this world, we sure. become an enemy of God. So, And this is the encouragement that the Word of God says here. We as children of God must abstain from the things of this world. We attach wow. ourselves easy to the things of the world. We have fellowship with the world. And then we don't have fellowship with each other. Because that moment when you have fellowship with the world, the love of God is not abiding in us. Wow. So, and, and this is the encouragement and, uh, what, that he says. Uh, he, he wrote here uh, prior to this verse. And he says, he wrote this thing so that we do not sin. But if we do sin, yeah. we have an um, advocate. Um, before the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous man, and he himself is a propitiation of our sins. So we can come to the Father through the Lord Jesus Christ so that he, and we, when we confess our sins, it can be forgiven. And then once again, the light, we have fellowship with the light. And we have, when we have fellowship and this separation of sin is removed, and then we have fellowship with the brothers as well. Sure, he's on in Johannes 2 verse 15. Moet die wereld lief hee, of die dinge wat in die wereld is nie. As iemand die wereld lief het, dan is die liefde van die vader nie in hom nie. So, dit is my verskrikkelijk om dit te lees vir ochend, om net weer herinner te word aan, dat as jy die wereld lief het, dan het jy God nie lief nie, en is die liefde nie in jou nie, is jy nie deel van Godse Koninkrijk nie, want liefde soek nie sy eie belang nie, so. en wanneer ons bezig met raak met die wereld, is dit die begeerlikheid in jou, wat hinker na die wereld, so dit is nie liefde nie, jy is bezig met jou eie begeerte, met jou eie gewoontes en dinge en so aan, en dit is wat die Heere met ons deel, dat dit is wat afgeleem moet word, dit is wat uitgesorteer moet word, mm. en dit is wat hy so mooi sê, as jy gezondig het, as jy deel geraak het van die wereld, mm. as jy vir oomlik nie nuchter en waakzaam was nie, het jy een voorspraak by die vader, om jou sonde te gaan belei, om dit te gaan uitsorteer, so dat jy uit die duisternis kan uitkom, weer in die licht, loof die Heer, hy sê, want alles wat in die wereld is, die begeerlikheid van die vlees, en die begeerlikheid van die oe, en die grootsheid van die lewe, is nie uit die vader nie, 
maar is uit die wereld. So as een mens baie keer so groot praat in die wereld, en jy wil jezelf laat geld, en al die dinge, dan moet jy weet, jy is nie nou bezig met die, met die Heere nie, jy is nou bezig met die vrees, en is die wereld, en dit is die duisternis waar een mens mee dan bezig is, en liefde soek nie sy eie belang, en dit het, ek denk dit is die, die saak, waar die, die twee weke so groot vir ons uitgestaan het, is dat liefde soek nie sy eie belang nie, so jy moet so verander, en uitsorteer, dat jy geen belang van jouself soek nie, maar wel die belang van jou medebroer en sister, jouself gee, jouself baie keer raai seer maak, so dat jy uit die wereld kan uitbreek, want baie keer is jy so bezig met jou geaardheid, jy hoef nie net sonde te doen nie, mens is so bezig met jou geaardheid, en jou eie belang in jou geaardheid, dat jy nie, dat jy het eigenlijk onttrek van die broederskap, yes. en so lewe jy nie meer in die licht nie, en dis wat die Heer ons mocht aanmoedig, as jy in hierdie dinge geval en gestryker het, staan op, en ga na die vader toe, en gaan belei jou saak, en praat met hom, en kom uit die wereld uit, in die licht, so dat jy gemeenskap met jou medebroers en sisters kan hee. As, as my wife is talking here, um, I, I, I once again re- realize, um, There's a difference between willfully socialing with the world and doing your daily things that you must do. Like yeah, work, you must go and shop, you must go and buy new clothes or whatever the ca- case might be. And and I realize this is in a in a in, in a full day. Say for instance you're on a full day work or even on holiday, you have a full day of normal fleshly things that you do. You go to the beach, you lie down at the beach and you swim and uh, when at work, you are at work, etc. And that's why after afterwards, uh, what what you do, if, if you work, you don't sin, okay, unless you are doing <laughs> wrong things in the work and sinful things in the work, but the work itself is not sin. The swimming itself is not sin. The running around and playing, that's not sin. But what happens, it is still things of the flesh. It is still things of this world. And that is why after a day you feel discouraged, you feel yeah. down, you feel, ugh, I just want to go to bed and just get the day over. And this is why we need to come to the Lord continually. Yes, sir. Even if it's not sinful things that you are doing during the day. And I think this is sometimes the confusion. In the gospel. That's why we need to serve the Lord and come oh, to Him man. and keep on seeking Him so that the things of the world don't, don't get the better of us in our oh, life. Man. And if we don't do that, even after a full day of hard work, and there are a lot of things that uh, that happen that day, and you feel discouraged, you feel, oh, I don't want to pray, I don't have... I'm not in a mood for prayer. Sure. That's exactly when you must pray. Because this world actually pressure us not to serve the Lord. Amen. And we must break free from that. We, you can enjoy your day. You can go to the shops. You can do, do whatever, drive, whatever the case might be. But never, never leave the Lord. Amen. Never, never, ne, uh, never neglect your spiritual um, uh, 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 responsibility. responsibility. Thanks a lot. Never do that. And this is where we stumble and fall. And this is a, is a real reminder this morning because sometimes we connect only with sin. But in our daily life yes, as well, right. you, can't, you can't carry on a whole week without a, a proper prayer, yes, without right. proper time spending, spending time in, a, in the presence of the Lord. Otherwise, the world will get the better of you. Ja, dat is wat my man sê, baie keer in die, in die dag moet ons gaan werk en ons moet dinge doen en ons moet winkel toe gaan en ons moet uitsorteer, ons moet gaan kosties koop, baie keer moet jy iets kleur, kleur kies of wat ek al gaan koop en uitsorteer en dit is nie per se sonde nie, maar om in die wereld die heel tyd betrokke te wees en um, deel te wees daarvan en jy kom baie keer by die huis en die avond na werk en so had soveel dinge gebeur of jy was dalk op vakantie geweest, had soveel dinge gebeur in die dag wat jy moes uitsorteer en doen en jy het jyself dalk geniet op die strand of wat ook al, dit is die sonde nie, maar toch maak dit dat jou geestelike leven afvoel. Yes. <laughs> jy voel down, jy voel leeg, want jy was nou vir die dag tussen die 
duisternis, in die wereld, in die vlees, was jy betrokken geweest. En dit is niet verkeerd nie, maar ons moet nooit vergeten om die verantwoordelijkheid te hee, dat wanneer jij een tijd heet om voor die Heere te komen. Nee. en weer jezelf vol te maken, en weer met die vader te praat, en jou leven weer lekker uit te sorteren, en net so'n bykie um, uh, 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 ding het uit te sorteren en die chaos dalk wat in jou ziel nee. voel, want baie keer voel het soos chaos in jou ziel, nee. en dan voel je ek is nie nou lis vir bid, ek het nie kracht nie, ek gaan nou niet slaap, of ek gaan my bezig hou met een of ander wereldse nee. ding, om my so'n so bykie te laat ris of te vervul, wat ook al die geval mag wees. En dit is die probleem. Dit is wanneer jy jezelf gaan verder bezig hou met die wereld, om pro- te probeer ris of te probeer ontspan. Daar is een probleem. En dan moet ons daar naar die vader te kom. En ons moet ons harte kom oopmak en sê, vader, hierdie dag was so en so gewees en ek het dit ervaar en dit beleef en ek wil dit so weer bykie, so'n bykie met, jou, met, met, die, met die uitsorteer en wanneer jy weer die woord so lees en het maak, dit verkoek weer jou siel so lekker, dan voel jy weer vol lewe en kracht en moed en al die dinge en die duisternis, be, um, ga, uh, hoe kan ek sê, jy kom so'n bykie uit die duisternis yes. uit, die licht breek weer dier in jou lewe, in jou hart en jy voel weer die lewe in jou innerlijke so baie keer voel een mens nie om te bid nie, jy voel nie om bybel te lees nie, wat die wereld druk jou dood, die vlees druk jou dood en is waar jy moet deurbreek en die Heere gaan soek ja, yeah, because the whole day we are spending time in the flesh yeah. and then your, your flesh, when it tells you you can only get encouragement by doing the things of the flesh and when you are doing the things of the flesh, maybe you are at home you had a hard day at work, you lay before the TV or Facebook or whatever the case might be, and you, at that moment you might feel, wow, this is amazing. But once you put down there, you feel that darkness once again. Yeah. Because the whole day you are in the flesh, and the flesh wants to be satisfied by the things of the flesh. And when we can come to the Lord, and He just open our heart and says, yes. Lord, this is our day, and and. Don't, don't forsake the Lord. Even if you're on holiday, even if you go on a road yeah, trip, don't right. forsake the Lord. Keep on, because we are doing the things of the world. We are in the world. And that's why we must keep on breaking out. Because at the, uh, the, moment of, the moment when you got born again, your eyes saw, your spiritual hands, hands touched, and the word of life, you experienced that life. But yeah. the world wants to destroy that life that is within you, want to suppress it, wants to remove it, wants to make a separation. And this is where we must continually seek the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is quite amazing. We spoke to the young people last night. And once again, we realized we try to overcome the flesh by the flesh, by just 100% fleshly self-control. Self-control, 100%, we must exercise self-control at all times. But the thing is, we don't create new habits. We don't create new habits by just start uh, serving the Lord. If you wake up in the morning, just create a new habit by saying, praise the Lord, good morning, Father, good morning, hallelujah, praise the Lord, I worship you, or just put on the audio Bible, whatever the case may, create new habits instead of, thinking and pondering about uh, over someone's life yes, whether yes. it's a sinner a family member brother sister doesn't matter start uh, start a new habit but start praying for that person maybe in the beginning you might still ponder or, 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 or uh, think uh, um, five minutes uh, uh, and just uh, think of that person and and maybe sometimes just tear him uh, apart oh, in our heart and and then you will come to realization, I cannot think like this. Then immediately say, Lord, forgive me that I've had these bad thoughts about this person or maybe feelings of bitterness. And say, Lord, please forgive me, but now I want to pray for that person. Yes. And the moment when you start creating new habits, you will see the old habits is just falling away because the only way to overcome the things of the flesh is by the Spirit. And this is what we want to encourage you, and this is what we encourage the young people with as well. Create new habits oh, in man. the Lord. Start willfully. I want to read the Bible. If I think about somebody, instead of uh, uh, think uh, bad thoughts about that person, start praying. If you will think of the government, pray for them. If you think of a situation, the neighbor, 
pray for them. If you think of a family member, even if it's in your mind, just start creating new habits. Wow, that is my mind, what my mind now say. That ons moet, um, baie keer wil ons die vlees dood slat dier die vlees. <laughs> en het is so, ons moet selfbeheersing hee. Maar baie keer raak dit ook een eie sinnige saak. En mense raak so bezig met jou self, mm. en om dit self te probeer beheer. Jy probeer dit beheer. Yes. En dis wat kom jy so baie val en strykel. Yes. En dit is so mooi om aan te denk, ons moet oorwin dier die gees. So hoe oorwin jy dier die gees? Eerst in elk geval om jou verhouding met die Heere uit te sorteer mm. en in stand te hou, elke dag van jou leven. En ook, om nieuwe gewoontes te kweek, en is wat my man sê, dat baie keer kan my stalk um, aan iemand denk, en dan begin al worsteling in jou hart, en jy bedink dinge, en jy dink altyd eerst die slechte, yes. <laughs> en dan is het as of het so maal in jou, en baie keer is het al so'n bykie bitterheid en seer, as jy in een situasie dink, of aan een persoon dink en soan, en dit is een gewoonte wat mys moet inkom, en te sê, jyre, ek is baie jammer, dat ek nou so gedink het van die persoon, of dat ek nou die bitterheid gehad het in die persoon, of dat die situasie my so omkrap, of wat ook al, en dan bid jy vir die persoon, mm-hmm. of dit is wat my man sê, enige situasie wat jy aan denk aan die dag, wat vir jou laat nie lekker voel nie, bid, Sê jyre, dalk, daai situasie nou by die werk, ek voel bitter daar oor, ek voel seer daar oor, het was onrechtverdig of wat ook al, dan bid jy daar oor, en dit is hoe die gees begin oorwin dier jou. Yes. En dan kan jy die vlees oorwin, want net om te probeer, net selfbeheersing toepas, jy gaan val en strykel, want dit is een vleeslike saak wat ons baie keer mee bezig is, jy self, wil jou self doodslat elke dag, en wat gaan jy doodslaan? Jy leven nader in die mening, laat die kracht van God dier jou begin breek, kry nieuwe gewoontes, yes. kry nieuwe leven in jou self, dit is wat hy sê, as jy in die ochend wakker word, sit die audio bybel, bybel aan, of um, praat met die Heere, of begin die Heere loof en prijs en sing, en wat ook al, as om bezig te raak met die vlees, want as jy eerst daar bezig geraak het met die vlees, yes. dan is het asof jy die hele dag die maling het van die vlees, want dan is het asof die geaardheid het so sterk oorvat in die mens, en dit is wat die Heere ons leer, kry nie wat gewoond is, wanneer jy yes. so gedink het, doen so, as jy so gevoel het, voel so, en ja. dit is hoe een mens begin lekker deurbreek in die Heere. Ja, it's amazing, when you wake up in the morning and you feel miserable, or you even wake up with a, with a thought of some uh, dilemma or problem the, uh, the previous day, yes. and you keep that and you start thinking and pondering about that yeah. specific thing, then you hold that, then your day starts with that. That's right. But if you can create, and now we try to say, no, Lord, I can't think of this, and I can't think of this, and I'm not allowed, and you feel guilty inside yourself, etc., etc., what you must what you must do you try create this new habit and re- constantly remind you even if you had a bad thought of a person right now or a situation say lord please forgive me and i'm going to praise you the moment when you uh, um confess you are forgiven that very oh, instant yeah. that very moment so then you can then you start praising the lord even if you don't feel like that Start praising the Lord so that your day can start with a worshipping the Lord, with thoughts of the Lord. Amen. And you will see as you are going to continue and create this new habit, you will experience that you are constantly uh, praying during the day. You are constantly yeah. aware of God, the Father, the Word, um, the heavenly things. You are constantly uh, uh, um having fellowship with the Father. Yes. You are walking in that. And if you, if, you look back the, uh, uh, if you look back to your day, you will realize that you've prayed more than uh, that you used to. You, you, you will be surprised how long have you actually prayed if you put all that together. Dit is so in my mind en baie keer, ek sien nou Paulus sy comment, dit is baie erg by die werk, allemaal, O oh, mens is goddeloos en mens moet daar wees, alles wat die mens elke dag moet inneem, dit is baie erg. En ons verstaan die situasie en ons verstaan werke is geweldig. Maar ek denk ons as kennis van die heren laat ons te veel intimideer. Deer die wereld, deer sonde, deer ongerechtigheid, onthou die die hele wereld, die hele wereld, waarin jy elke dag leef, le in die mag van die bose. En ek denk as die mens dit kan begin verstaan en sê heren, Ek het tot bekeren gekom, maar nie die mense sal met my nie, en ek moet die licht wees, en Jesus het in die wereld ingekom met die licht, en dit is so dat het erg is, dit is verskrikkelijk, 
Maar als een mens daar kan deurbreek en sê, Heere, ek gaan my nie meer laat intimideer dier die wereld nie. Want die wereld leer die macht van die bose nee. elke dag. Daar is nie, daar is nie um, goed in die duivel nie. Daar is nie goed in die wereld nie. Nee. Dit is van die duivel af. Maar in dit moet ons leven en in dit moet ons getuig en in dit moet ons die blijdschap en licht en leven en al die dinge openbaar ook aan ander. Maar ons laat ons doodruk. Ons voel nee. baie keer geïntimideer dier die wereld. Ek is nou in die wereld en is son en het is allemaal om my, is nie, ja, nee, niemand gaan bekeerd wees om jou nie, behalwe as jy die licht uitstraal, die lewe uitstraal, begin bid, en die Heere soek en in blijdskap begin deurbreek, dan is het aan die lewe, want ons laat ons self dood druk dier die wereld. Ja, yeah, of course, when, when, when we have work, we try not to do the sin, but, uh, and try not to annoy us, and, and we try to cut ourselves off from the things around us, but as we say, we create a new habit, Yes. Start praising the Lord. Amen. Silently. If, if you are at your desk and you can do it, praise the Lord. Say, Lord, hallelujah. I praise you. I thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah, yes. um, even if you go to the bathroom, you have time just to be alone with the Lord a, a moment or two. And if you, if you are busy uh, um, creating that new habit, you will realize that the, the things around you won't intimidate you again. Because yes. we are intimidated, then we try to separate and not to be part of it. You will never overcome. It will become hell for you every yes, single right. day. But if you can create a new habit of worshipping the Lord, Amen. as you are driving towards the, the, the work, just worship the Lord. Say, praise you, Lord, hallelujah. If you don't, even if you don't feel like it, and you know there's things lying ahead when you get to work, start creating, and when you worship God and exalt God, Amen. He will exalt you as well. Yes, he will Lord. deliver you. He will give you the encouragement. He will overcome through you in your life. But we try to overcome out of our own strength, our That's own right. might, our own power. And you will never get it right. Ja, en like al wat gebeur is, wanneer jy so in jou eie kracht probeer oorwin, is die mens raak hard en die mens raak koud. Yes. En die mens het naderhand een renons in die wereld. Yes. En dit is wat die Heere ons wil leer, oorwin dier die gees. Oorwin mm. nog steeds in die sagmoedigheid, nog steeds in liefde, nog steeds in selfbeheersing, nog steeds in langmoedigheid en al die dinge, om te besef, Heere, dit is die wereld. Dit is hoe dit is, maar hulle moet gereed word. Dan breek een mens om het dier jouself. Yes. En dan raak een mens nie meer so hard en koud en ongenadig like nie, want dit kan ook gebeur in een mens geestelike yes. leven. Jy is so bezig om jouself te distansieer van allerhande goeders, dat een mens baie keer jouself so onttrek, dat jy ook hard en koud raak. En dis wat die Heere ons wil leer, yes. breek dier. Amen. En loof die Heere, en prijs die Heere, en soek die Heere, en bid vir mense, as om bitter te raak. Yes. So die Heere wil ons net mooi leer. Om yes, baie nie wil gaan, en as jy nog nie daar wat is nie, beoefen dit. Dit is wat ons sê, elke een moet groei. Elke een moet opstaan, elke een moet iets verstaan. En baie keer wil mens mekaar ook doodslat. Ja. Mens wil mekaar ook in die keel grijp. En dit is wat die Heere ons so mooi af die afgelopen tijd ook geleer het. Dat elke keer in sy situasie moet groei. Elke keer moet opstaan, elke keer moet iets verstaan. En die geest van die Heere um, herinner ons, en hy... hy, hy um, oortuig ons, en as daar nie nog nie oortuiging is nie, dan kan jy nie daar ou nie keel gaan grijp nie. Jy moet kans gee, dat het kan groei in so'n persoon sy hart. En dan, ai, die liefde, dan breek dit dier. I, I, a bit for it, uh, I, when I read Jorina's um, comments, yeah, I just want to, uh, 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 there's something that came to mind, bid for elke situasie, pray for every situation. And this is the thing I think that, that um, discourage us. Ja, maar sy sê, ons moet bold wees in die wereld, en het help om elke oomlik te oorwin, bid vir elke situasie. And I know we pray for situations, but I think there's sometimes the problem. We are so focused on the situation. Yes. You must be focused on your spiritual life. Amen. And when the situation are there, you will overcome by God's Spirit yes. and the fact that you exalt Him in your heart and in your life. I don't say do not pray. Yeah, I mean, but we are so focused, this situation, this situation, this situation. No, I must change. Then the situation will change. 
then you will overcome regardless of the situation in which direction it must go. That's right. And this is when, when I read this comment this morning, I thought to myself, that is the thing. That's why you cannot change your work. And this is actually what Paul, uh, 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 Paula also said. We, it's so stressful at work. And we know it. We are not unaware of it. We, we know the reality of the secular world. We, we were there. We are still there. We are constantly there. But if you can create a habit of worshipping the Lord, of, uh, of, of just exalting the Lord, does it, if you look at, at David is, I think, one of the most best examples maybe in the Bible, even Paul and so on and Jesus and everybody. They just had this relationship with the Father. And they worship the Father and they uh, seek the Father. We don't seek the Father often enough and long enough. And that is why situation gets the better of us. And we think when the situation changes, I will change. No, we must change so that the situation can change. And how do we change? Not try to kill yourself and <laughs> every day. We, there must be self-control and there's things that we must uh, decide not to do any flesh. That's 100%. It's also biblical in that respect. But when we start worshiping the Lord, Amen. just praising Him and reading your Bible. I mean, we have our Bibles on our phones. Yes. Instead of going two hours on Facebook, we can rather read the Bible or say, Lord, I have two minutes here. I just want to worship you and praise you and yeah. hallelujah. Thank you for everything. And in a moment when you worship the Lord in your heart, then the Lord will also help you in the physical. That's right. Ons probeer te sterk wees, denk ek, baie yes. keer. Um, te, en dan raak mys hart. Yes. Jy raak koud. Jy raak omgekrap. Maar wanneer een mens kan verstaan dat die geest dier jou moet oorwin, dan raak het aan een sak. Yes. Dan besef wow, mys vader, ek is so afhankelijk van jy. Ek kan nie my kracht en geweld gaan gebruik. Want dit is wat gebeur. Mys raak met kracht en geweld bezig. En dit oorwin nie. Dit is net nog een natuur <laughs> om so te wees. So op die einde van die dag, ons met die Heere soek, ons moet om loof en prijs, ons moet om aan bid, ons moet om groot maak in ons leven en ons moet blijdskap in ons leven. Ek lees weer vir oogend, um, dat die strome van levende water moet breek. En ek denk baie keer is ons so droog en koud en hard en al die dinge, dat hy strome nie kan deurbreek nie. En dis wat jou leven gee, dis wat jou opgewonne wil, dis wat jou blij maak. En het is so baie keer raak my so bezig met jou situasie, dat jy voel as die situasie nou kan, as ek nou ander werk kan kry, as ek ander dit kan kry, as ek ander dat kan kry, dan gaan my leven verander, het gaan nie verander nie, want in elke situasie gaan jy so voel. So of het nou was die situasie is, jy gaan dit so ervaar, tot dat jy kan verstaan, dat die lewe dier jou moet breek. Want as die lewe dier jou breek, gaan jy nie as jou situasie raak sien nie. Dit gaan somme heel te mal anders vir jou voel. Ja, so prijs die Heere. Yes, and uh, we must be led by the Spirit, and uh, to be led by the Spirit is just to worship the Lord. Amen. To praise Him. Exalt the Lord, even if, I mean, situations get a better, of course, uh, better of us because we don't know what to do in it. Yes, well. We don't have the wisdom, we don't have the ability, we don't have the means to overcome that situation. And therefore, the, Lord, the Word of God says this is our calling. We are not to be the wise and uh, brilliant person in this world. We must be weak. Amen. And we must just say, Lord, Hallelujah, I praise you and I worship you. Sometimes we don't even pray for my wife and myself. We don't even pray for a certain situation, but because you, the joy of the Lord, we are just so happy to worship the Lord. And yes, it, it, it seems easy, but it's not easy. We must force our own self as well to worship the Lord and just to praise Him. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, if you're going to exalt me, I will lift you up. Amen. I will help you. Yes. We want the situation to be changed. We must start changing our attitudes, our character, our habits. And then the Lord in us will help us to overcome 
the nature in us, and if you okay. see the situation is gone, it's dissolved. Amen. Hallelujah. And by care for me, so be ke heilig. And I think this one's great to be. As I can myself, thank you. And thank you. Oh, I feel so be ke heilig, and all the things that it's for me to feel. And that rock my heart. Is rock koud. Want eindelijk die heiligheid wat jy voel is jou geaardheid. En dit is jou gesintheid wat nie raag is nie. En dis wat die Heer ons wil leer. Breek dier in liefde. Breek dier in sagmoedigheid. Want as een mens so voel, wil jy dit in jou eie kracht doen. En dit is baie keer jy voel, jou geaardheid word, is amper heilig. En God stem saam met jou geaardheid lelike geaardheid. En God doen dit nie. Hy wil die geaardheid verander. Hy wil hy hier al met sagmoedigheid en liefde deurbrek. Want die geaardheid wat jy mee sit, is nie heilig nie. En dis wat God ons leer. En ek het lang met dit gesit. En my eie opinies en idees en gedagtes en emoties het gevoel, God bevestig dit. En ek het die reg. En toe ek achterkom, joh, dis my geaardheid aardheid, wat koud en hard en ongenadiglik en liefdeloos en so eie belang soek, toe besef ek, ja, dit het niks met die Heere te doen nie. En dit is waar die Heere mens begin uitsorteer, so dat die ding kan val in die mense leven, so dat jy in sagmoedigheid en liefde kan begin deurbreek. Ja, en we must start doing something about it. If you get in a car in the morning and your radio is maybe on a secular radio station or worldly music but remember God is not the friend of this worldly music <laughs> and then your day will start with that your day will start with the thoughts of the world because you listen to them Amen. and then your whole day will be in trouble so you will yes, never sir. overcome that's when we our work and our situation overcome us and but if we can get in a car if you uh, if you go by car to the work whatever and then you just praise the Lord. You start praying, praying in tongues, just worshiping yes. the Lord. Then your day starts on a completely different route. And because you worship the Lord, you put Him first, then He will help you through that day. If I, if, if you walk in the street, the people with the ear pots in and they listen to the worldly music, get the audio Bible. If yes. you may be in the streets or public transport, whatever the case might be, Listen to the word of God Amen. in that ear parts of you. Praise and you. when you do that, you fill yourself with the thoughts of the Bible, wow. of God's will, because the Bible is God's word, it's its will. And you fill your mind with that. And when you fill your mind with that, and then you start thinking of the things of the Lord, and at the end of the day, you will realize you don't have certain habits anymore. You've overcome so many things. Yes, Isn't that amazing? Create a new habit and the old things will fall away. Wow, praise the Lord. Yes. That is not always a following. That is so much life and kracht. And I can feel the freedom of the Lord Jesus Christ, of the Father in our hearts. Because as a man can believe that a man is actually with a fight in your business to sit. It's not God's gift that you lie to feel so much. Dit is jou eie geaardheid, jou eie gesintheid wat wil vech, wat een probleem met alles het, wat hard en koud en liefdeloos is, wat eie belang soek, dan val dit af. En dan kan die geest van die Heere lekker begin deurbreek in jou leven. And I also realize, just one last thought as well, we tend to live in the past. Ja. And this is a big thing. And you can maybe test yourself on this one. Break loose from the past. Yes, sir. I mean, I, I realize even my wife and myself, we have said, we want to delete every single sermon of the past. <laughs> we cannot even listen to our own sermons of the past. Not, not that it was false or anything, but sometimes we can live so in the past yeah. that we cannot see what is now, what God wants us now. This whole week with the young people, now and again, the, 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 the subject came up. And said, the, 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 the preaching of last week, of, of yesterday morning actually, yesterday morning when we were here, today it's new, today it's different. Yeah. Today it's something also, of the past. It's some, yesterday's ministry is something of the past. 
It's what is do, what we are talking about now, what's happening now, what the Lord is ministering to us now. That is what counts. Maar die gredding is my man dat um, jy het gegroei van gister tot vandag. Yes. En jy het opgestaan dalk uit die situasie uit. Nou bly mens nog daar. En dit is wat die Heere ons leer. Elke dag is niet. Elke prediking is niet. Elke situatie wat je weer wen is niet. En zo so staan die mens op in die leven. En dit wat ons gister geleerd het, dit is die meer relevant van vandaag niet. Ons het opgestaan. Dat was een nieuwe ding van vandaag. Dat was een nieuwe uitdaging. Dat was iets niets wat ons moet weer en uitsorteer. En vanavond kan ons weer daar praat. Maar dan is het morgen weer voorbij. Want jy bly groei, jy bly opstaan, jy bly aangaan. En omdat die mense nie verlede wil bly lewe, dit is waarom is vastgerik word en vastgehou word. En dis wat die Heere ons wil leer, elke dag is niet. Staan op, gaan aan, groei. En elke ding wat mense, as jy nog gister geval en gestrykel het, en jy het opgestaan, jy net het belei en jy het uitgesorteer, het jy al klaar weer gegroei. Was daar al klaar weer een vrug wat, opgesta- wat, wat uitgekom yes. het. En baie keer top ons nog weer dit wat gister gebeur het. Jy het opgestaan, jy het belei, jy het uitgesorteer, en daar het een vrug na vore gekom, daar het een opstaan gebeur, so wat het gebeur, daar het groei plaas gevind. Yes, even, even when I get this Facebook reminders of what happened seven years and a year ago, and say, I delete it. Yes. I don't reshare it. Yes. Because it's something of the past. Amen. Actually, Facebook keep people in the past. That's right. Yeah, and, memories. Yeah, and once uh, now you are born again, now you share memories of your sinful life of the past. Your connections of things of the past, of sinful people and self, sinful things of the past. And we even put in new comments, wow, it was so awesome, it was so great. And maybe it's somebody that passed away, I miss you. We cannot talk to the dead. No. <laughs> so actually Facebook keeps us in the past. And once you only stay in the past, you will never excel and stand up. And this is what our Bible says, stretch out to what lays ahead and forget the things of the past. Forget the things of yesterday. Today is new. This moment is new. What we've said 30 minutes ago is in the past. Ja, my man, en ek denk, ons is so lekker so met mekaar gesels ook. Baie keer het my soveel kennis in die woord. Mm-hmm. maar die toepassing. Ek dink dit is die groot probleem. En dan gaan soek mens nog, en nog, en nog. <laughs> in plaas daarvan om dit wat jy het, te begin leef, mm-hmm. uit te sorteer, strek jou uit na wat voor is, met dit wat jy weet, dit wat jy reeds besef in jou hart, en dit gaan begin groei, en dit gaan begin vrug dra. Want baie keer is soek jy net, nog en nog en nog en nog, maar jy, jy doe nie wat, Jy weet al reeds in jou hart is nie. Jy pas het nog nie toe nie. So jy gooi jou self toe met kennis en kennis en kennis en nog en nog en nog. En dit is wat my man sê, baie keer gaan luister mens 20 van die ou preke. Maar daar is nog nie vrug van dit wat vandag gebeur het nie. So, dat is en my, dit is wat die Heere ons wil leer. So lang jy net kan liefde uitleef. Dis bottom line. Dis waar die evangelie bestaan. Dis waar het Godse Koninkrijk bestaan. Rechtvaardigheid, onpartijdigheid, liefde, selfbeheersing, al die mooie dinge. As jy dit kan leef, dan weet jy al baie aan die evangelie. Ja. En dit is wat moet deurbreek. Ja, yeah, so for instance, you came across this ministry um, because of a past um, a sermon we had. And the Lord changed your heart. Move forward. Don't go yeah. and go and listen to all the old sermons. Move ahead where you are now. Yes. That, that that sermon brought you to enlightenment. That uh, sermon made you sober and maybe uh, um, uh, uh, released you from that burden of ignorance. That, things that, that thing that hold you, uh, that, hold you bound, that bound you, bounded you. But now you can be set free. Amen. Now live in that freedom from this day onwards. And I see Almeri says she enjoys the memories of the past because we are in the past. Yes. And we, when we still are in the past, God, because remember our eternal life is ahead. It's in the future. It's not in the past. And if you repent today, the past is gone. That's why with your spiritual rebirth, your previous life is gone. Yes. And every day, the previous life is gone and gone and gone and gone. That's why even in 
the Old Testament, when Jesus Christ came, the Bible says we don't know Jesus Christ according to the flesh anymore. That's right. We are not to think of him of a, in his earthly state. We must now meet him in our spiritual life. We must see, we must touch and handle him spiritually, not in the flesh anymore. And when, when God wanted us to live in the past, he would have uh, uh, laid more emphasis, maybe uh, um, left us some images of the physical Jesus somewhere on a yes. tablet or an engraving or whatever. But we must continue to the future. Sure. Wow, praise the Lord. That is that awesome hand to think. And that is ook wel forgiveness aan kom. Yes. And that is ook om God so full forgiveness is, want hy denk nie aan jou verlede nie. Hy denk yes. nie daar nie. As jy dit beleid het, en een nieuwe leven in hom gekry het, en uitgesorteer het, praat hy nie die hele tyd oor 20 jaar terug nie. En dit is baie keer as ons as kinders van die Heer is een probleem. Ons leven nie in die vryheid, en vergifnis, en lewe, en liefde, en kracht, en heerlijkheid nie. Mens verwees altyd terug. Yes. En dit is ook om een mens nie groei en opstaan nie, want die terug maak verbittering. Yes. Die terug maak die seer. Ja, of het maak dat jy hinker na die sonde van die verlede. En baie keer is die mense sondig, ons is saam met die sonde gedoen, so wat nou doen jy nou, jy wek die sonde weer op, so jy verbind jou weer aan die sonde, dit is ek om ons as kinders van die heren nie baie keer kan opstaan nie. Wow, so die heren wil ons net losmaak, yes. die heren wil ons vry maak, en dit is so cool om, om te sien, die afgelope tyd in die jeug, wat die is, ek kan vir jy sê, die beginse gesig is en die gesig is nou, wow, two different people, dit is rechtig, <laughs> want daar het een opstaan plaas yes, gevind, vergifnis en yes, verstaan, amen. van die evangelie, so mys kan nie wacht om in die oog in mekaar so gesig is te sien nie, <laughs> so loof die heren, en as hy mys dit kan begryp en deel maak van jy leven, dan gaan die geveg, yes. die oud, die verbittering, seer, al die dinge gaan, want dan besef vir mys, heren, ek het een nieuwe leven, my gemoed moet elke dag verander en vernieuwe, I mean, praise the Lord. I, I believe this was encouraging for you. It was encouraging for us as well. Yeah. So may you have a blessed day. And yes. We will remind you of the weekend services because we Sunday we are taking the young people back to the airport, to their homes. So we will keep you up to date yes. with our next service, etc. Praise the Lord. Iemand een wonderlijke en een heerlijke dag hier. En ek denk, jy kan sommer sien, ons kan hier lekker deelstaan so oor die woord van die Heere, want dit is wat die mens bou en stig en baie antwoorde gee. En ons wil jy ook aanmoedig, as daar vraag is, as daar onzekerheid is, gesels met ons, dat ons ook lekker daarover kan gesels, dat ons sommer so bykie net een sekerheid begin deerbreek in ons leven, loof die Heere. Iemand een lekker dag hier. Bye bye.